we can now open up on the part where we need to create this we can now begin to create this part if you use conventional AutoCAD methods to generate this that will mean you have to draw elevations you have to draw if you have 20 different types of doors that means you have 20 different door designs to work on that means uh, you will be probably drawing doors for, for over the next couple of days in your work life already or obviously when you use Revit that part of the work can be minimized if not speed up a lot by using right click legend okay right clicking on legend new legend or you can click on view you can click on view under legend here under view under legends under legend this part they are the same in fact I prefer to just work off one point so I like to use this right click legend and with this I give it a logical name door legend let's say and the scale I'll just put it say 1 is to 25 scale and then I click OK when you are inside here it's important to just imagine as if you are working in AutoCAD paper space for example okay think paper space it's about there now to do this we do not we are not going to draw but we are going to fish out information from what is already inside as families so what's going to happen is this we will go to annotate and we will look for Okay, we will look for component we will look for legend component this one do not load the wrong one because if you load detail component it will prompt you to start adding things and all no we're not going to do that we are going to add a legend component this one and with this we are going to then just before you go on I have to show you the options bar first first of all is on the families portion under the options bar if you see down here on my screen you now begin to see family and then you see door single leaf and so on this one is a drop down list where you will see all kinds of families inside this project alone next would be the view by default it will show you elevation by default it will show you the front elevation in fact okay doesn't matter what I'll do is I show you my technique of creating it I will click one I will click two like that because I am able to by default this is front elevation I can just select this object and then the options bar will appear again I will be able to change it to plan view so I will be able to see this now in plan view like that and then after that I will select all of these I know that I have three door types to prepare I will use the copy multiply or multiple command and one two three types and after I'm done with this what I will do is I will select this one type here one of this door and I can click on the drop down list and select the second type of door which is let's say the M by 44 panel door this one and then the next one I will select the M double glass 2 this one like that so I will align all these things first after I'm done with this I will use the MA command 
which, you, which is the shortcut key for match properties to select the source, select the target to change it to the target door type and I repeat the command again select source, select target and then I will be able to now see the three types of doors let me just align this properly <coughs> align them properly something like that okay now to show you more things this door itself is obviously not enough not having enough details when it comes to anno annotations and specifications so what can happen is we can now begin to use the annotate portion okay under annotate under detail lines we can begin to use annotate and detail line here to add in more details like for example this is missing the swing lines so I'll add in the swing lines here and here I'll change this one to say hidden and then from here it also lacks the door handles I will just add in here the door handles on this part here I will then begin to add in more dimensions how high from which and then also how far from which as well Okay. and then I begin to dimension the doors I will begin to dimension up the doors and all And then I will begin to add in the details. I'll add in one more detail with a point, point 0.3 line by drawing in the finished floor level line here. I will label it with the text command here under annotate. under annotate under text I can then type in the required information like the door type description and the number of doors that are affected here okay so this is what I will do I will just click on this and make sure I choose the text with no leader this one no leader here and I just put it down here and just type in something first for now as a placeholder and here I will type in something called the FFL floor finish level or finish floor level here and then I can duplicate this one across
okay this way and then put it up for the third one as well this way like that and then with this also I would be able to select on the door type and under properties under the component type here we will be able to see the door family description here this would be where I would be picking up the description copy I will copy this and I will be pasting it here that will give me the description in detail and I can centralize it this way and I can then make duplicates of it from here to here to here and then I can repeat for this one copy paste it copy and paste the description here this way like that so I will have the descriptions out next I will then add another level of data here by just copying the text box down I need to label inside how many types of doors eh? number how many types of doors are affected let's say two door three so I need to go into the table to see oh D1 2 and 3 belong to this door type okay and then M by 4 4 panel would be D4 D5 let's see this is D6 7 and 8 these are the types of doors this way okay when this happens after this has happened already I will go inside I will go to annotate detail line again this time round, I will draw the frames uh, with a particular line type. Let's say I'm going to use uh, a 0.15 line or 0.1 line to draw the table box like this. And then I will draw the partitioning lines here. And here. this way and I will draw the line across so with that more or less my 
table is quite ready my legend is ready so if you realize it takes us about 15 minutes to prepare this compared to hours of drafting work needed if I have to draw the plans and so on for the door for the schedules okay. not to worry you don't have to finish it beautifully you just have to understand conceptually how that is done okay and then we will provide a we'll, uh, later at the end of the lesson I'll upload a sample so you can you can more or less follow this one this kind of structure okay <coughs>